Hey guys, and welcome to our room tour of our balcony cabin aboard Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas. No messing around, let's get into this. On the back of your cabin door, you will find instructions of what to do in an emergency and importantly, your assembly station. Also, you have this handy magnet here to let your room steward know if you're sleeping off the adventure or if you're off and about and they can come in and service your room. Here is the thermostat where you control, well, most of the time the air conditioning, but also the heating if you need it. Then as we circle around, you'll see the main part of the cabin. You've got a nice trendy little sofa there with some nice little artwork and also this really big cupboard. It's really huge actually. Plenty of room for hanging all your clothes and also lots of room in the bottom for your shoes and whatnot. Now if that wasn't enough storage for you, we've got another cupboard. Again, you can hang your clothes in here and also there is a safe in there. Now it is a pretty small safe so you're not going to be able to get a laptop or anything like that in there but it's handy for your passports and wallets and keys and that kind of thing. They also have these handy little drawers at the bottom here. Then over the bed you've got these over bed storage facilities which are very handy. Really really great storage especially if you're on the ship for a long trip. Then you've got the sofa which is nice and comfy and very useful for when you're getting ready. And you've also got this nice unit here where you've got some drawers as well as to the right you've got the cupboard where the fridge is kept. Really handy if you bought some wine on or if you want to keep some water in there to keep cool. Then in the top drawer here, you've got a handy hairdryer. It's not the best hairdryer in the world, but does the job. And then you've got these other drawers here where you can put your socks, underwear, that kind of thing, whatever you wish. They're reasonably deep, so you can get a fair amount in it. So storage is not an issue on this ship. Then you've got facilities to make your teas and coffees as well as this nice handy desk where you can get on with some work or use the power outlets here. You've got one EU socket, two USBs and two US sockets. So be sure to bring along some converters if you are traveling from the UK. You've also got this nice full length mirror and then turning around to the bathroom. So the bathroom is pretty big to be honest. You've got this really nice big shower cubicle enough room to swing a cat around I'm sure and everything else you'd expect really some shelving for your storage also the basin and of course the loo you've got a nice big mirror in here which is great and also the lighting in here is good as well nice and bright if you put your makeup on and that kind of thing Hand soap and shower gel is supplied, but the shower gel isn't the best, to be honest. It's a bit watery. Then heading towards the back of the cabin towards the balcony, you've got the TV. Now, this TV doesn't move, so you can't swing it out towards the sofa, um, like on some other lines, but it's in front of the bed, so that's good. And you've also got a couple of bedside lamps and also a US socket here. Uh, there is no USB socket underneath the lamp here unfortunately um, but you do have a couple of USB sockets over on the desk as mentioned earlier. The bed itself was really comfy no complaints which is always good. Uh, to the left of the bed you've also got the telephone which is really handy not only for calling reception and other cabins but it also shows you the ship time so if you're unsure if the clocks have changed it's a nice handy way of checking. Now we'll check out the balcony. These balconies are pretty big to be honest. It's really nice that they've got a footstool as well so you can pop your feet up and just have a nice chill whilst looking out at the scenery. If you choose to pay that little bit extra and choose your cabin, would strongly recommend just having a quick look at the layouts just to make sure one, the balcony isn't obscured at all and also two, just to make sure you know what's above you or beneath you because sometimes when they are setting stuff up it can be a little bit noisy in the morning. We really enjoyed our stay in this cabin. As I say, we had plenty of room for storage and it was really comfortable. So no complaints here. <laughs> plenty of wardrobe space. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Why not click the link above to check out our most recent Eurovision sailing on Anthem at the Seas. And why not hit subscribe so we can let you know when we release new future content. And if you've got any questions, please put them in the comment section below.